Hey everybody, Terry B coming back at you with another TTM video. I missed TTM Tuesday, uh, just a lot going on, so my apologies if you were looking forward to a Tuesday video. So I'll make it up to everybody and post a special video on Thursday today. So this video is completely dedicated to some hockey TTMs I got, so I will preface if you're not a hockey fan, um, that's definitely what this video is all about. Definitely would be cool if you stick around. I think there's some really awesome TTM returns I've got that even if you're not a huge hockey fan, uh, I think the last card definitely is, is pretty cool for folks to see. Uh, if you're a hockey fan, fantastic. Um, so, you know, as an Orioles fan living in the state of Maryland, as my my, pro, my little avatar shows, um, I am a Capitals fan from way back in the the Ole Colsey to, Ole Colsey to Jim Carrey days um, for the Caps. So some... Some of the darkest years in, in Capitals history all the way up through current. So had a had a fun Stanley Cup run a few years ago. Um, really, really emotional roller coaster back and forth. Anybody that's followed a team you know, that closely with the heartbreak they've had, uh, just incredible to finally see them break through the ceiling. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show off a couple TTMs I got. So I got some Caps players, I got some coaches, and I got a really cool one at the end. So I'm going to start rolling because I've got a couple here. So first return took 14 days. The index card is not signed. And our first player return is Mr. Mike Knubel. So Mike Knubel for the Washington Capitals. Nice, really clean auto on that 10-11 Don Ross. So a little bit about the players. I'll kind of roll through this pretty quick just since I've got a ton of stuff to get through. Um, Mr. Knubel broke in uh, with the Detroit Red Wings. He was actually a fourth-round draft pick, number 76 overall in the 91 NHL entry draft. Broke in 96-97 season. And played all the way through 2012-2013 season. Played for the Red Wings, Rangers, Bruins, Philadelphia Flyers, the Capitals, and Philadelphia Flyers to end his career. Uh, 1,000 games, uh, actually 1,068 games played with 278 goals, 270 assists, good for 548 points. My math should be better than that. I'm sorry. Yeah, 548 points and 641 penalty minutes. So Mike Knubel is our first return. All right, next up. Really quick seven day return. We got an older card, index card not signed. Next up is Bob Carpenter, center for the Capitals. Uh, card says Bob. He definitely went by Bobby. He is a number three overall pick in the 1981 NHL entry draft. So first rounder in 81. Career stats, let's take a look here. He was started, so he broke in with the Capitals in 81-82, played all the way through 98-99, Capitals, Rangers, Kings, Bruins, Capitals, and Devils. So he had 1,178 games played, 320 goals, 408 assists, for, good for 728 points, 919 penalty minutes, um... I don't have an overall plus minus, which I'm not a huge fan of anyway. Um, did have 140 playoff games that he got to participate in with 21 goals, 38 assists, good for 59 points. So, center Bob Carpenter. Next up is a 10 day return. Index card not signed. And we have a goalie. So we've got Don Bupree is our first goalie. And I, if I'm butchering that name, I apologize. But I'm pretty sure I remember it as Don Bupree. It could have been Don Bupre. Um, Drafted by the Minnesota North Stars. Second round, number 37 overall in the 1980 NHL entry draft. Broke into the majors with the North Stars in 80-81. Played through 96-97. Ton of teams here. So, across his career, Mr. Bupre uh, played for the Minnesota North Stars, uh, the Washington Capitals, the Ottawa Senators, 
the Toronto Maple Leafs, and ended his career with the Maple Leafs also. There's a bunch of AHL, IHL time in there as well. So he had 667 games played with a one-loss record of... Is that right? 268 wins against 277 losses, so about you know an average goalie. Um, 75 ties, career save percentage of 885. So Mr. Don, Mr. Don Bupre. All right, next up, 27 day return. Next card is not signed. Dale Hunter. So uh, this card's pretty cool. There's an enforcer set um, from in, in the game product that had a, a lot of the, the enforcers. So you can see that Mr. Hunter was in the 3000 penalty minute club um, across his entire career. This is my first return from out of the U.S. Mr. Hunter, Mr. Hunter is currently um, involved with the London Knights. Um, also just took Team Canada, I believe, to the juniors gold. Um, so Team Canada just recently won a, a gold medal in, in the most recent tournament. Uh, he was coaching that team as well. Probably the, one of the biggest prospects as a Caps fan on that London Knights team is Connor McMichael, a uh, recent Washington Capitals draft pick who's just been lighting it up um, under Coach Hunter. So I've got Dale's career stats. I want to look at the back of this card. So I'm not going to get too much into this. Um, trade to the Capitals before the 87-88 season, over a decade with the Caps, all-time leader of penalty minutes as of this card. I believe that's still the case. I'll double-check. Over the course of his career, he had over 1,000 points and 3,565 penalty minutes. Dale Hunter. So 27 days also on the next return. Index card not signed. And another Enforcer card in the 3,000 Penalty Minute Club is most recent Stanley Cup champion coach, uh, Craig Berube, who just took the St. Louis Blues last season to their first Stanley Cup. Um, so as a Caps fan, you always want to win, but to see another team finally break their streak and win their first cup, that was amazing. So really cool silver signature. So you can see uh, on the back of this, settled in with the Capitals in 93-94 with a career-high 305 penalty minutes, so getting to work right away. He was there through 98-99 when he was dealt back to the Flyers. Over 20 fighting majors in three different seasons. Last big league action came in 2002-2003 before retiring with 3,149 penalty minutes. Craig Berube. Our final card took 22 days. Index card is unsigned. Jim Craig. So it is currently the 40th anniversary of the Miracle on Ice. Um, you know, if anybody remembers watching that game live, it was just a touch before my time. Um, I've definitely seen the movie. I've seen all the, the books. Recently just bought... Um, uh, a book from the, the captain, Mike Ruziani, um, about the, the game as well. So Jim Craig's the next TTM. The card kind of, I tried to prep it as much as I could. It's a glossier card, so you can see the signature does have some, does have some breaks in it, but he also inscribed it for me with 1980 gold. Uh, so we can talk a little bit about this. And obviously, if you know the story, about the 1980 Olympics, uh, this was the biggest upset in sports history, most likely, and as far as hockey goes, in the time, the the heavily favored Russians uh, were beat by Jim Craig and, and the rest of the Americans four to three, and they'd later go on to win gold against uh, was it Finland? I think so. That sounds right. Mm -hmm. Feel like I should know this. Yes. So they clinched over Finland. So there were, so Jim Craig in this game against the Soviets stopped 36 or 39 goals, uh, had a one goal lead he had to protect to win. The American flag that was draped over his shoulders is now on display at the Sports Museum 
of America in New York City, which I've not seen, but I'm actually going to add that to my list. So, got a 1980 gold medal winner, which I think is just absolutely cool. I also sent out a TTM to his counterpart, uh, Vladislav Trediak, who was the Russian goalie to start that game. So, I'm curious if you know, that's going to make it back from Russia, and if it does, I'll absolutely TTM it. But amazing to have a, a gold medal champ that still TTMs. So that's all I've got for this week. I appreciate everybody watching. If you haven't already liked the video, um, subscribe. would absolutely appreciate um, any more subs I could get. And we'll come back next Tuesday with another video. Have a great day, everybody.